Good morning, afternoon, everybody. I am out trying, attempting to catch some panfish off of soft plastics in small jigs. Crappies go nuts over them. Bluegills don't go as nuts as crappies, but you can catch some really nice panfish. They are a great alternative to wax worms and spikes and butter worms and night crawlers and whatever else you want to use. Bacon, donuts, people use all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I am out in my one-man thermal again, guys. Anyway, out after some bluegills, panfish, crappies, whatever. I did shoot a video out in this area. The other day, a week ago, I don't know. Um, but I'm back out trying to get some panfish, some big bluegills, actually, on video. So, we're going to drill some holes, catch fish. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. All right, you guys. Well, I'm back today. Kind of trying to get this stuff set up here. There we go. Um, doing some bluegill fishing today again. But this time I got a little tiny three millimeter jig with a plastic on it. All right. This plastic is called a Sailor. That's made by Alex over at Panfish Pirates. I don't use plastics too often for panfish. Well, bluegills anyway, I use a lot of them for crappies. But there were, oh, there's, there's a fish right there. Got it. Oh, had it. I'm a loser. I mean, I missed him. That was instant, you guys. Ooh, there's a fish. There we go. There we go. That feels decent. Feels decent. That looks decent, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. Oh, there's more fish coming in. That little soft plastic. I like to see that. I like to see that. Oh, I missed him. Come on. There we go. There we go, boys. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there's a big one. Ooh, it's stuck. What? What are you stuck on? ridiculous he's that's a big bluegill thing was stuck between my <laughs> oh that thing was stuck between my deucer and the ice on that six inch hole you guys that right back down there ready to rock dude what is wrong with this bluegill you're the only bluegill yeah there you go that ever get Oh, I see what's wrong. I didn't, oh crap. I didn't cut my hole all the way with my auger. That's what's wrong. <sighs> Aggressive, big. This is nice, you guys. This is really nice. This would be a big, big bluegill, I'll bet. Yeah, it is. It's freaking huge. It's a freaking tanker. It's a freaking freak, dude. I could tell just by the size of the mark. That's a freaking... And he's peeing on me. That's what I get. That's what I get, boys. 
that right in the tip of the schnout. Anyway, nine and a quarter inch monstrosity back down the hole, y'all. There we go. Is that a crappie? A little bit. I bet that's a crappie. Ooh, it's a big crappie, you guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. A little big. Not giant, but gosh. Nice crappie. What are you doing? You know, oh. <laughs> it's a nice crappie, you guys. Another day that. These fish are lucky I'm not eating, eating them all. There you go, dude. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, another crappie. Another crappie. These really tiny soft plastics, you guys, these fish are just loving them. The crappies are really aggressive towards them. What we got? Oh yeah, big bluegill. Big. Gilly gilly. Gilly gilly baby. Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry there, dude. Ugh. He's gone. He's okay. Didn't hurt him. Lots more light in here. You guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big boy. Big blue gable. With the spots. Shablam. This one should be nicer. Dude, that looked like a big mark. Please be a big, big old slosh donkey. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. There we go. There we go. There's a big bluegill. That's a big one. As Murray would call it. That's a big one. That's a nine inch fish. On the old soft plastic. Ah. Oh, you want to come back and get eaten, right? That looked nicer. Ooh, stay out of the deucer, buddy. There we go. So, I'm thinking this is about an eight and a half inch bluegill. Should we find out? Like, I just keep guessing. This is eight and a half inches long. Get out my old catch board here. Maybe it's eight. I don't know. I guessed eight and a half. I was, I wasn't even close. Eight. Looks bigger than that. Put a dollar every time I heard that from somebody. People in general. Got him. Got to be a crappie, right? Big crappie. Big crappie, you guys. Big crappie. Big crappie. Yep. Do it way high up like that. Way high up like that. Nice crappie, you guys. Look at that guy. Oh, just fell out. Get him in the sun for you. He came high and chased it. I knew it was going to be a nice crappie. I knew it. I done sainted. Get in the water, dude. 
and he's gone. That was, I just knew it. When they come up, when they come in high like that and they're so aggressive, there's about a 95% chance that it's a crappie. This is a nice one. Oh boy. Yup. Come on, bud. Big bluegill, right? It's got to be a big bluegill. Yeah, that's a nice one. There's a nice one. See that one? There's probably actually eight and a half. I don't know. Oh boy. Ooh, what do we got here? This feels nice. I dropped it right on its head and just went to jig and it was there. It's big. Oh yeah. There's a nice one. I dropped it right on, I dropped it in his mouth is what it feels like. <laughs> dropped it right in his mouth. So I dropped it down into the school and went to jig it and it was just sitting there. There we go. That feels like it's got some shoulders on it. Eee, no, it does. And it's wrapped around my loser. Oh, darn. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a big one. That's another really nice one. Really nice, you guys. Mm. All right. This is the part I hate the most when I'm done. Haha. <laughs> Tuned up custom rods, 32 inch. I know you guys are used to seeing me using 36, everything. But now that I got this nice otter hideout single man, you know, you got a 36 inch rod it isn't always best to be fishing way out there not saying it's not because i'm probably going to use my 36s in here as well but nice little 32 inch tuned up custom rods bull whip um use this use this rod the other day pc fun icx5 reels these really is, these reels are are cheap they don't cost a lot you guys and i'm telling you what they're freaking awesome got my jig here that little three millimeter jig, the 2X hook was made by Alex over at Panfish Pirates. We're gonna drop his link in the description here. Alex actually has his own uh, tackle store now over by Dent there. You guys can check that out too. Anyway, go to the site, buy some pirate gear. That little pink so uh, soft plastic there's called a Sailor. That is also made by Alex over at Panfish Pirates. I was catching big bluegills. I was catching nice crappies. I was catching everything off of this, you guys. Check that out quick, and I can't forget my. Oh, put this back here quick. Got my Markham LX7, you guys. You know, I, I just I don't really take a really I think it's ice all over it right now. But there's my LX7. Um, on the lithium shuttle, I never showed it up close to this, but this thing is freaking nice. Got polars in the back. Um, got this light in the front. See that? This white light comes in really handy. When I'm out fishing at night, packing stuff up. Got USB, the USB ports, and it powers this thing for quite a while. I mean, this thing's freaking awesome. I couldn't live without my LX7. Yeah, there we go. It's the Anwar, my otter boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Yes, thank you much. Peace.